Hey, what's up guys? Chad here. Had to make this quick video. I was in the middle of a really crazy busy day, but then I got this little gem in the mail, the Lamzu Atlantis Mini. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm so excited to have this mouse in my hand right now. It feels incredible. The regular Atlantis was a little bit big for me and the hump on the middle back would kind of like push into my palm when I was trying to fingertip grip with it and like tuck the mouse into my hand. And luckily this one does not do that at all. It's like the perfect size for me. My hands are 19 by 11 and I can fingertip this thing. I can claw grip it like, Everything I'm doing with it right now, it just feels perfect. It's like, it feels insane in my hand. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. So look, let's go over the specs really quick. It's a 49 gram mouse. It's got a 3395 sensor and the switches here are customized transparent Juano blue shells. They also switched over to a TTC silver encoder. And I have to say instantly, it's a much better feeling scroll wheel. The one on the old one was nice, but this one is just more tactile, consistent, and it just feels higher quality. It sounds better, it feels better. Oh man, the tensioning is like perfect on it. It's really nice. The size here is 117 by 63 by 37, and it's got 70 hours of battery life. So in the box this time around, you get some small PTFE dots, if you wanna try those for feet, and then you get the large Zowie style PTFE feet. It comes with these smaller feet installed already, and they feel really good so far in my testing, but I'm probably gonna put the bigger feet on just because I like more surface area. Also in the box, they give you some grips this time around, but unfortunately they are black kind of a bummer. You know, when you get a white mouse, black grips don't look very good, especially when the mouse is this nice looking, kind of ruins the aesthetic, but it is what it is. And then also you get some glass skates in this cool little cardboard square box. So it's more protection than just throwing in the box like they did before. Also the cable here is different. It's this nice light blue color. And then look at this freaking dongle, man. Like, holy crap. If the old one wasn't already nice looking, this thing is absolutely insane. I've never seen a dongle that looks like that. It looks like some kind of like piece of art or something sitting under desk it's absolutely nuts yeah the mouse the weight balancing 49 grams feels insane the build quality on my copy is perfect i did play on this a little bit earlier and i could tell my aim is already fantastic on it and i haven't even adjusted to the mouse at all so i didn't change my sensitivity i didn't do anything i just plugged it in and started playing and my aim felt incredible because you know it's such a well-balanced mouse it's so lightweight the side buttons here don't sound quite as loud and crazy as the old one did like here let me give you a quick sound test real quick of the side buttons That's the old one, here's the new one. Sounds more like a normal mouse now in my opinion and I kind of like that it's not quite so loud. All the buttons feel insane on my copy. I think buttons one and two are actually tensioned even better than the old Atlantis, which is really impressive because these felt so good already. Let me see how they sound here. These are the old ones. Here's the new one. Yeah, a little bit more crisp, but a little more poppy, a little more tactile, which is good. I mean, all those things are really good. It feels nice, sounds nice, really satisfying to use. I can't wait to get like some playtime on this mouse. But yeah, that's all I have for right now. Just a quick unboxing, checking out the build quality and QC and stuff. If you guys have any questions or anything you want me to cover in my long-term review, drop them down in the comments below. And I'll try to throw it in the video for you. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.